What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're returning subscribers as always, guys. Welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk about a story I saw this morning out of Akron, Ohio. Shout out Akron, you know what I'm saying? And this story is about a woman who's 74 years old who was stabbed to death by her own son who's 40 years old. And uh, this guy right here, pictured, Andrew, Alex, his name is Alex Andrew. And you can tell by the uh, picture, he ain't got his life together. This guy living at home, stabbed his mother to death, and assaulted his uh, stepfather, also with a knife. This guy is locked up right now, charged with murder and felonious assault. At what point is it ever beneficial for a 40-year-old man to live at home with his parents? At what point as a man do you not self-evaluate and say, you know what, my life should not be this. I want to do better and I want to fix myself. I guess some people can't do that. Take a look at this story. We'll come back and talk about this. New information just in on a deadly stabbing out of Akron. The medical examiner identifying the victim as Courtney Jones Hunter. The suspect in the case, the woman's own son. Another man was also injured. Katie Tursick spent the day in Akron. She has this report. They put the yellow tape up and I thought, this is very, very serious. A family now grieving, a mother stabbed to death. Police say her own son killed her. A purple candle outside her home now burning in Courtney Jones Hunter's memory. Extremely graphic uh, in terms of what that scene looked like. Um, understandable the impact and a sense of loss and grief. Inside of the Bronson Road home, a grisly murder scene. Police say 40-year-old Alex Andrew also stabbed his stepfather. Police say they don't know what provoked him. Andrew has been charged with murder and felonious assault. I feel horrible for them. Just well, how tragic. I wish there was something we could do, but Lieutenant Michael Miller with Akron Police says Andrew called 911 himself. He told the operator that his mother and stepfather tried to hurt him. They didn't have a weapon, but they tried me and they tried to try to hurt me. Where are they bleeding from? Mm -hmm. I just got them off me. I don't know. I'm bleeding from my hand. They just bleeding. I got them off me though. In Akron, K Tursec, 19 News. All right, guys, that's the news of what happened to Miss Courtney Jones Hunter. May she rest in peace. 74 years old, lost her life at the hands of a bum ass son. 40 years old, don't even got his damn life together. I'm going to tell you something. Show of hands. How many people remember this when we was younger? They told you if you was 18 years old, you better have a plan or a good job. If not, you out of here because you're not going to be living up under this roof for too much longer. You know what I'm saying? It's like we didn't fell so far from that and we didn't fell so far from, you know, and when we failed our children, basically. Look at this dude, man. 40 year old man. You'll be surprised at how many 40 year old people out here right now that are grown, grown and can't take care of themselves. They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Perfect example. Did you hear the phone conversation 911? Yes, tell my parents, they was going to attack me. They ain't had no weapon, but they was just attacking me. He didn't like what they were saying. Perfect example of why he's where he's at. Where they stabbed at? What did he say out of his mouth, y'all? Did y'all pay attention? Go back and look. He did this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I got him up off me, though. But you ain't get your ass about that house. You don't know where you stabbed them, where they stabbed at. That's why that I don't know stuff need to be knocked out of kids at a young age. They need to be held accountable for the actions. You never not know because it was something known to make you do said action that you're being questioned on. When you don't take care of that and teach accountability in kids at a young age, this is the byproduct. Now, it's unfortunate that lady lost her life. And he said they was attacking him, verbally attacking him. He ain't want to hear it. 
you in somebody else's house, you damn sure going to live by their rules and hear it when you break them. Like I said earlier, at what point do you reevaluate your life and say, hey, you know what? I got to get up out of here. This is not for me. I'm, I'm too old. I told you. Your own place, your own transportation, your own money. If you don't have none of that, no ass. Look at this dude. He didn't grew his hair long. I guess he had braids or whatever. He know what the styles are and try to be cool. You know what I'm saying? A lot of masculine men want to be cool. You know, it's prevalent. Wanting to be accepted. But you can't do that living in somebody else's damn house. I told my kids, you get 21 years old, man, with everything I tried to put into you, you have more than enough to make a way. Troubles and pitfalls is a part of life as a man. Now, if it gets really bad to where you can't figure it out, then you ass. But your road is your road. People like this, they, they, they don't even want to take the first step in getting themselves right because they got everybody else around them holding them up. Now, I don't understand the relationship with her and, this, and uh, her son, but he did live there. It's counterproductive for him. And it wound up being deadly for them. He had a stepfather. You know that guy in his 70s, you know, he thinking he probably ain't deal with him like that you know a lot of times these guys marry these these women got this kid that's out of hand ain't, her, ain't his kid he can only say so much because if you pay attention he only killed the mom he didn't kill the stepdad see the thing is this when you have a grown man in your house regardless if he's your child or not ladies or, or gentlemen he's still a grown man he succumbed to stress. He succumbed to his environment. He succumbed to wanting things that you had. You think you're doing this and you're, getting, you're gaining appreciation, but you're gaining resentment. You're still a man. It's like having an animal. An animal is cute when it's young, a tiger or a lion, but it still rise up and put his fangs in you once he gets testosterone growing and it figures out, you know, a little bit about life. And it realizes, hey, I know what I can do and can't do to stay here. And I'll just keep doing the same thing because I know these people love me and they won't give up on me. And it makes my life easier while making theirs hard. Fuck that. It won't be me. How about you? You can't fix a broken man. You can stick your hand out all day and pick somebody up. But if they won't stand on their own two feet. They're going to keep falling back down to the ground and keep telling you they can't until you make them say they can. This is unfortunate, but a lot of people are dealing with this right now. Another thing is this. And being in that house at that age, like I told you, if you wake up one day as a parent and say, you know what, enough is enough. Hey, my man, you got to get out. Or you got two weeks to get out or a month to get out. You running around here, running with these chicks and doing all this stuff, claiming you the man and all of that stuff. Show and prove it. You got your life so much in control that you live in here. Show me you can live on your own. The nest is closed. Now jump your ass out of it, out of it and flap your damn wings. A lot of times they blame you if shit don't go correctly. At what point in his adulthood, say, say adulthood started at 21. It is 19 years into adulthood and he ended up where he's at. At what point for a person just do some self-reflecting when you like, man, I can't be living with my mom no more. I'm sure he got friends. They got their own shit. You don't think that way on them? And if it don't, that's really bad. See, the thing is, it's a man to help you. As long as you're showing that you're making steps to help yourself. When you just chilling like, ah, I'm good. I can stay here. My mama stay here. And it's a problem. It's a problem. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Family is family. But people, are, family will fuck you over too. And it's an example. It's cost this woman her life. It's a damn shame.
I'll see you in the next video. Take care.